Joke Vlog. Can you guys believe it has been three years since I started running in Adidas Ultra Boost sneakers? Yeah, after three years, these continue to be the best running shoe I can ever imagine. Really, all I've gotten is just a little bit of grass stain that's hardly noticeable to pretty much anybody but myself, you know, nitpicking wise. I think that you'd you'd be hard pressed to actually see this. And it's only come because, like, say, a lawnmower would be cutting fresh blades as I only walk on concrete, mainly walking paths, bike paths, sidewalks with these shoes. Never been out in the rain in them never had anything start to tear or unravel. In fact, that uh, sole insert still reads Ultra Boost, crystal clear as day. Typical shoes, that runs off in about a week. Now, I would say that if you were looking for some kind of damage to them, they do appear worn as that continental tread underneath those nubs have been ran down some. You can see that in some of the newer Ultra Boosts. They've gone to a somewhat interlocking square grid pattern with these. I'm uncertain if that increases longevity. Not that there seems to be any real difference whether these are worn down or not. Now I do have the Mystery Gray Limited Edition colorway, which has really spiked in price. I think last time I looked at it, people were wanting like 700, 900 bucks for these. Would they want that much with a little bit of grass stainage and the nubs worn at the bottom from Continental? Probably not, but I'm not looking at getting rid of them. Unless, of course, Adidas wants to send me a pair because no one else on earth is doing this in their shoes. Okay, so you've made it this far, but are you ready to go further? Are you ready to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and maybe even sign up for my weekly podcast on Patreon? It's only one buck a month.